Hello everyone, Dusty Flyguy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining how Metal Effects works and how to use it properly. So basically, Metal Effects allows you to first, you select the low resolution, then you just AI to upscale the resolution to your native monitor screen or lower, and it basically just makes the game look really good and the performance is good. Well, it's sometimes it makes the game look good. That's why I'm going to try to explain. Because a lot of people don't really know how to use it, and some games... It's just a few toggles, whereas in a game like Death Stranding, let me go to settings, go to options, then go to graphics, we'll see that we have a lot more in-depth control for Metal FX. See, we have a choice between Temporal Upscale Metal FX, Spatial Upscale Metal FX, and Off. So I believe Spatial doesn't use AI, and I believe Temporal does. And we also have Metal FX Quality, so you need to keep an eye out for that. So basically, this is the amount of upscaling we want to do. Performance is running around 50 to 60% resolution, balance 60 to 75, quality 75 to 90, and ultra 90 to 100%. So basically, when you're at a low resolution, you shouldn't have it set to performance, because it's going to make it look really blurry. For me, I play games at 1440p, so I can get away of playing at performance, but it still doesn't look great. Whereas if we set it to something like Ultra, we can kind of barely tell this is on here at 1440p. But we can see it's definitely a lot more sharp. So the first thing we want to talk about is Metal FX mode. If your game supports it, you have a choice between Temporal and Spatial. Now I believe the two games that support it that I've played in No Man's Sky and Death Stranding. So I believe Spatial doesn't use AI and it just checks the frames and just a quick correction here, Metal Effects Spatial just uses a single frame of data to upscale, whereas Temporal actually uses multiple, so I got it a little bit wrong. Implements a fake one, you can see it looks a lot more over sharpened, kind of looks a bit gross. But we are getting a little bit of a better frame rate, but it looks really over sharpened, it doesn't look great. If you look at the, look at the grass over there, it's very, very sharp, and this is that ultra quality mode, which is just not great. So the other metal effects mode which is the good one is temporal upscale it looks a little bit more blurry but it doesn't look over sharpened and you can't barely tell that it's on to be honest but the issue is if you're playing at low resolutions you can definitely tell this on let's hop into resident evil 4 to check how other games deal with metal effects all right so now we're in resident evil 4 and as you can already tell, just look there here alone, this game you can tell that Metal FX is on way more. But I think this is because it's set to performance. This game is a lot more vague about the Metal FX options, we just have performance and quality. No in between. Of course quality does look better but you can still see all that ghosting in Leon's hair. It might not be ghosting but it certainly doesn't look good. It looks like really greasy and gross, it doesn't look great, you can see it in Ashley's clothes as well. Even if we open our menu, see that it looks pretty clear, but if we were to set it to performance, this is even at 1440p, the stuff becomes blurry for some reason. I don't know if this is on purpose. To be fair, this is an early Metal FX port. You can see it kind of stops getting over. When it's not in motion, it gets a lot more clear, which is strange. But another thing to point out is that this is quite an old Metal FX game not old but like two years ago or something like that and capcom have really stepped it up when it comes to metal fx if you look at the resident evil 3 port it looks 10 times better and there's none of that ghosting in the hair but unfortunately we only have two toggles but hair is actually a good game to test see the hair looks perfectly fine if that all right here's a little metal fx test so on the left is the hair of metal fx and on the right is without metal fx metal fx but a frame rate tanks but if we go and what I was trying to say earlier is Metal FX can kind of not look great if you're playing at a lower resolution. So we're going to set it to 1080p, which I think most people play at. Maybe 1200p if you're on a Mac screen. And we can set it to quality. You can see that looks pretty good, but still a little bit blurry. But then if we set it to performance, I wouldn't recommend using performance at 1080p because this is like... 25% of 1080p and that's like you do the math I think that's like around 360p and that just doesn't look great and as you can see we can be we can't even read what's on that ammo whereas if we would go back up to quality we might be able to read it dragonflight says right there I can read that easily 
But that's what I'm trying to say is that, for example, I play this game on my TV at 4K and I use Malefix quality and because it's going at a less resolution because it's only using 25% of 4K, I think that's around 720p, the game looks 10 times better. So if we go back to quality or performance, I don't know what this is. It looks a little bit better. There's still some ghosting, but let's try open a different game now. Oh, there are people coming. All right, so now I hopped into something like Assassin's Creed Shadows. This game is known for having performance issues on Mac, but beside that, this game handles metal effects a lot differently to other games, which is why I'm showing it here. If we go into si System, then go to Options, then go to Video, we can see that it actually uses dynamic resolution on metal effects. See, we can change, like, individually choose what we want our metal effects so i can have maximum metal effects resolution 100 and our lowest 25 i can go even lower we have performance balance quality native like i was saying which is actually pretty darn cool because i think this game has the most in-depth metal effects customization maybe behind death stranding but it does let you individually tinker the options, which is cool. But as I was saying, at 1080p, we're using performance. And as you can see, there's some like strange things happening. I believe it's called artifacting on the grass. It kind of looks a bit shimmery. And on top of that, we're not really getting good frame rates. I'm sure this game will get better over time. And I'm for sure thinking this game will be the benchmark for new Max when gamers test it so i know this video was a bit different to my usual videos i just want to explain how metal effects works because not a lot of people know and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching